Uh, my name is Sonia Anderson. I'm a horticulturist at Denver Botanic Gardens and I also participate in the Plant Select program. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about early blooming perennials in the Plant Select program. Um, one of the early blooming perennials that I want to talk about is a, two, a 2013 introduction. It's called Curly Leaf Sea Kale. Uh, it's a good size perennial. It's kind of a xeric baby's breath. And it's covered in a mound of airy white flowers in the late spring and early summer. So some of the early blooming perennials in the Plant Select program are uh, Grand Mesa Beard Tongue, which is one of my favorites. It's uh, stunning in caps and underlined, electric blue. Um, the Denver Gold Columbine is also a beautiful early blooming perennial. Um, bright gold, cheery flowers that kind of wave in the wind above small, shorter perennials. Um, the Narbonne Blue Flax is a beautiful, almost shrub-like uh, perennial that blooms early in the spring. It's fuller and longer lived than our native western blue flax. Deep blue flowers and just a mass of them. The avalanche white sun daisy is a ground cover, ground cover like perennial that's covered in white blooms. You want to make sure you plant it in full sun. It's a nice underplanting for taller perennials that show up against the white flowers. The filigree daisy is also a ground cover like plant. The chrome yellow daisies bloom in late spring, early summer, but then that beautiful silver gray foliage is there for the rest of the season, creates a nice contrast with neighboring plants. The prairie jewel penstemon, which is a U.S. native, that's a late spring, early summer bloomer. Uh, beautiful stalks of silver gray foliage and then covered with flat, big, big tubular flowers. Red feathers is a very architectural element in the garden. Um, and even after the flowers finish, it still gives this sort of architectural effect in the garden that looks beautiful. The Silverton Penstemon is a beautiful mat forming penstemon and it just continues to spread out and creates a beautiful mat. It's nice at the front of a dry border. Uh, Clematis integrifolia is a beautiful shrub form clematis, unlike most vining clematis that we're familiar with. It has these beautiful nodding bells that kind of hang upside down. The way that the flowers hang down is, is really quite charming. They come in whites, uh, light blues, and dark blues. The snow angel heuchera is an unusual heuchera. The foliage is variegated, and then the traditional red flowers, the coral bells that hang above, is a beautiful contrast against that foliage. So all of these plants are low maintenance. They're very easy to care for. They don't require a lot of deadheading, a lot of pruning, a lot of cutting back. They don't require extra fertilizer. They don't require extra water. So it's a great tool for gardeners in this region because you can have a beautiful but low maintenance, easy to care for garden.